Hello students. Today I am starting a new chapter and that chapter is from organic chemistry. Do this very nicely students as you have not done organic chemistry in 11th nicely. So that's why I am starting this chapter from very basic. Hello alkanes and hello arenes is the name of the chapter students. For taking these hello alkanes and hello arenes firstly I am telling you what are hydrocarbons? You are very well knowing that hydrocarbons are the compounds made up of hydrogen and carbon. And the study of hydrocarbons and their derivatives is called organic chemistry. These all topics are known to you students. Now hydrocarbons can be classified into alkanes, alkenes and alkynes that also you are knowing. Alkanes meaning if carbon, carbon single bonds are there. Alkenes double bond and alkynes triple bonds if are present. Now I am coming to hello alkenes. If one or more than one hydrogen of hydrocarbon get replaced by halogen. Halogens, fluorine, fluorine, bromine or iodine. Salt bearing, salt containing elements. So one or more than one hydrogen of any hydrocarbon if get replaced by halogen that forms haloalkanes. Haloalkanes are obtained. That haloalkanes are also called alkyl halides and these alkyl halides we can represent as Rx. R is for alkyl and X is for halide. Now, after hello alkanes, these are hello alkanes. If we are taking hello arenes in that case, arene meaning students, benzene ring is there, nucleus is there. If one or more hydrogen from benzene ring is getting replaced by halogen, then hello arenes are obtained. Hello means halogen. Arenes meaning benzene nucleus. Haloarenes are obtained. Now, haloarenes can be of two types. How? Haloarenes can be aryl halide. Aryl halide meaning if halogen is directly attached with benzene nucleus. Benzene ring say directly zuda, zuda hua hai. Secondly, haloarenes can be ar alkyl halide. What is this? R meaning aryl group is there. That means this phenyl ring is there. Alkyl meaning this alkyl like CS3 if I can write. But one of the hydrogen is getting replaced by halogen. That's why CH2 group. That means alkyl group is also present on the benzene ring. So R alkyl halide. Halogen, alkyl group, aryl group. R alkyl halide. So Haloarenes can be of two types, aryl halide and or alkyl halide. Clear? Yeah. Now, I am coming back to haloalkanes. Haloalkanes can be monohalogen derivatives. This, I am taking a classification on the basis of number of halogen atoms present in the molecule. Mono meaning single. Single halogen if present in the molecule, only one halide or X is there, then it is mono halogen derivative. Here I have taken some example CS3CH2Cl, C2H5Cl or if any branch chain but the number of halogen is only one. Carbon chain can be any. Then I am taking dihalogen derivatives. Remember students, dihalogen derivatives can be of two types. Gem dihalide and vicinal dihalide. What does these gem and vicinal mean? Gem meaning students, if two halogens are present on the same carbon, like here you are observing. CS3CH and two hydrogen get atoms are getting replaced by two halogens. So, two halogens on same carbon, they are called gem dihalide. And 
they are belonging to dihalogen derivative since two halogens are there second is vicinal dihalide if halogen atoms are on adjacent carbon like 1 2 2 3 so adjacent carbon if having halogen they are called vicinal dihalide i think gem and vicinal words are clear gem meaning on same carbon vicinal meaning on adjacent carbon then trihaloalkane if i am taking chloroform is the example chcl3 three chlorine atoms are there in the same molecule tetrahalo is also the same thing in one molecule four chlorine atoms are there clear now i am taking and same is the case in aryl halides also students if one halogen is attached monohaloarene dihaloarene and trihaloarene same thing is there in haloarenes also now this was the classification on the basis of number of halogen atoms now the second classification i am taking is based on hybridization hybridization here as you know friends hybridization can be of three types sp3 sp2 and sp sp3 meaning if carbon carbon is having single bond then sp3 hybridization is there if organic compound is having double bond character in carbon that is associated with sp2 and if triple bond character is there then hybridization is sp so firstly for the classification i am taking sp3 hybridized haloalkanes sp3 hybridized haloalkanes meaning alkyl halide if having single bond character with carbon then it is sp3 hybridized they are also called alkyl halides alkyl halides like r x here r can be any methyl ethyl propyl butyl any so here ch3 ch2 cl this is alkyl halide ethyl chloride also you can say students c2h5 cl alkyl halide carbon is showing single bond character which is attached with halogens that's why it is sp3 hybridized haloalkane here alkyl halides can be of three types i am further classifying this alkyl halide into three types primary secondary or tertiary 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree 1 degree if i am taking students that means halogen is attached with that carbon which in turn is attached with one alkyl group or with non alkyl group like i can say this is the carbon which is attached with halogen is in turn attached with one alkyl group if only one alkyl group is attached or none alkyl group here you are observing students ch3cl this carbon through which halogen is attached is not having any alkyl group attached to it so carbon on which halogen is attached if in turn attached with one alkyl group or none alkyl group that alkyl halides are called primary or 1 degree alkyl halides second degree carbon through which halogen is attached in turn are attached with two alkyl groups here here i have written r and r dash why this r dash because these two alkyl groups can be same can be different if i am only writing r that means we have to use only same alkyl group but they can be different here if i am using methyl here we can use ethyl also here ethyl so here butyl or propyl so these are can be same or can be different but two alkyl groups should be attached with that carbon which is attached with halogen so it is 2 degree or secondary tertiary 3 degree if carbon through which halogen is attached is in turn attached with three alkyl groups that molecule is tertiary haloalkane or tertiary alkyl halide three alkyl groups can be same or they can be different that's why r r dash and r double dash any alkyl group can be there 
as i have taken c which is attached to halogen one methyl group is there one ethyl group is there and one propyl group is there and all three methyl can also be there all three ethyl can also be there all three propyl can also be there so these alkyl groups in case of tertiary alkyl halides can be same or can be different so this is the classification in case of sp3 which we call alkyl halides also in sp3 hybridization along with alkyl allyl halides are also there that allyl halides what this allyl meaning if halogen is attached with single bonded carbon which in turn is attached with double bonded carbon atom what does it mean if halogen is attached with single bonded carbon which in turn attached with double bonded carbon atom here i am giving you examples friends like this halogen is attached with this carbon which is showing single bond character all the valencies are satisfied by single bond and this single bonded carbon is now attached with double bond so what we are saying if halogen is attached with single bonded carbon which in turn attached with double bonded carbon atom so these are called allyl halides similarly one more example i have taken here students here what you are observing bromine is attached with this carbon which is showing all single bonds but it is attached with that carbon which is showing double bond so this is also allyl halide same is this structure i have taken this molecule i have taken it is not a benzene ring students remember that it is a cyclic hydrocarbon where double bond is present in between one and two position and halogen is attached with third position so halogen is attached with that carbon which is showing all single bonds but it is attached with that carbon which is showing double bond so this is also allyl hydrocarbon now after completing this sp3 hybridized alkyl halides we are now proceeding towards sp2 hybridized haloalkanes sp2 hybridized can have two different types of hydrocarbons one is vinylic halides what are vinylic halides if the halogen is attached with that carbon which shows double bond character remember students ch2 double bond ch with one valency this group is called vinyl group this group is called vinyl group okay and if you are attaching halogen it is vinyl halide if you are attaching oh vinyl alcohol and so on so the ch2 double bond ch x is this particular group is vinyl group okay students and you are observing that halogen is attached with double bonded carbon that's why this is taken in sp2 hybridized hydrocarbons here i am taking again this example students here one suppose this is one and two positions on cyclic hydrocarbon where halogen is attached with this carbon and this is showing directly the double bond character that's why this hydrocarbon is also a example of sp2 hybridized structure in sp2 i am taking now aryllic halides what does it mean aryllic halide aryl group if there aryl group if present then over that aryl group if halogen is directly attached then it is called aryllic halide here also you are observing students it is sp2 hybridized why because 
carbon through which this X is attached, halogen is attached, is showing double bond character. This carbon is showing double bond character. So this is aryl halide. Halogen is directly attached to benzene nucleus. Okay, students. Here, if on the benzene ring, some aliphatic hydrocarbon chain is attached, alkyl group if attached, no problem. But halogen is attached directly with the benzene ring. That's why it is sp2 hybridized or it is aryllic halide. Lastly, sp hybridized. sp hybridized, that means triple bond character should be required, students, as we have done it. So, here if I am taking this structure CH triple bond C and X, halogen is attached with that carbon which is showing triple bond character. Here I have taken some genuine examples also, CH3, CH2, C triple bond, CCL. I think you are all knowing IUPAC names also. We have done it in 11th class. How many carbons are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is 1 chloro. Bute one ion, isn't it? Source? So it is showing what? SP hybridization because of presence of triple bond character. Same is the case here. One bromo prop one ion. Okay. So this is also showing which character? SP hybridization. So we have done just an introduction of hello alkanes and hello arenes today, students. Do it from the book. If you find any difficulty, you can inform me on my personal WhatsApp number. So for today, this much is there. Thank you, students.